Welcome to basic trap video number three. Now we're going to go over a little bit more advanced uh, versions of the flight path of the bird. Now when you first start looking at trap, you see the target going straight up and then it goes down. And it feels like it's going really up fast, it's going out fast, it's going up fast, is the feeling. Once you, when you take a look at the side view, you'll notice that it's going out fast but it's not really going up fast. It's kind of an optical illusion when you're watching the target fly and it's always a good idea to stand back and while other people are shooting watch a few targets fly and start getting the idea okay it's not maybe not going up as fast as I thought it was because when you're looking down the gun it looks different than when you are standing back and there's no gun in your face. When the target comes up comes out and starts flattening out and then starts dropping off now if you notice, the target comes out below the top of the trap house and it's several feet in front of the trap house when you first see, start seeing the target as a flash. Now, like I talked about in the previous video, holding up high. One-eyed shooters have to hold down low, so it's more difficult for them to pick up the target low and they, have, they see the gun uh, completely. And, and to work with one-eyed shooters, it really takes a one-on-one. -on -one. But a two-eyed shooter gets the advantage of having the gun up here. They're already in front of the target. They kind of see that flash and starts telling you which direction the target's going, especially after they've been shooting for a while. It comes into focus. They can bring the gun up nice and slow. But when you bring up the gun really fast and you think, oh my god, it's going up real high, you have a tendency to bring the gun up way up here and then and miss over top. Where the target's just flattening out. And if you could stand behind yourself and see, oh, it's flattening out, boom, you'd be shooting it, you're shooting it in this area here. Now, the approximate size of the spread of shot in this area using a modified choke is about 30 inches. I mean, there's some outlying pellets um, around it, but main core for most guns, not all, is about 30 inches. So when you're pointing at the target, if the target goes up another 15 inches, it's still in the, it's still in the shot stream. It's still in the, in, in the path, or if it starts dropping down a little bit. So if you're shooting it at the top, you shoot basically right at it. If you start shooting when it starts dropping, you want to be just under it so it kind of flies into the path. Now if you start, if you're able to break the target here, you're not, you don't have to be two feet above the target. You're at 16 yard line. All you have to do is be right at the top of the target. It will still fly into the, your, your shot pattern will hit it. Um, but that's one thing to remember. When you're going super fast up to the target, you're blowing through it. Boom. It's, it's a little bit of a curve there. So, take this away. Another thing to think about with the advanced strategies is, uh, station one, you have a hard left, and you have a straightaway from your position. Well, you also have another left, another left, and a slight left. One thing to remember is all these targets except for one, so you have four out of five basic angles here, are to the left. So if you want to make a mistake on reading soft angles, shoot to the left side of the bird. Because if you shoot the left side of the bird on the straightaway, you're still going to break it. If you shoot the left side of this bird and this bird, you're still going to break them. Now here you need to be to the left of the bird. This one's better to be just left corner. Smaller gap, and this one's more like a foot and a half foot uh, to the left of it, depending on how you shoot. Because uh, everybody sees lead differently. But something to think about is that the first two stations most of your targets are going to be to the left. Station two you will lose this target here, still have a straightaway and then you have one target that kind of goes to the right. Other than that you have three to the left. One straightaway and one to the right. So straightaway same thing. If I break the left half of the target off I still have a broken target and then I have these. Most common that I see missed targets are these little softer angles. They're right at the right edge. They're right at the center of this one. 
Well, if you shoot center of this one, you're going to miss it. Left edge, or slightly left, breaks that target. So if you do mess up and do left half, you might break this one. Left half, you break this one. Left half, you break this one. You miss this one. So that's for stations one and two. Um, station three is equal left and right. Station four and five are just the opposite of one and two. Most of your angles are going to be to the right. So it's just food for thought. Now, when you're shooting, there's a whole list of things you need to do right to hit the bird. Smooth move to the target. See the target well. Does the gun fit you? Um, are you standing properly? Do you have a good hold point? Uh, just because you miss over top of a target doesn't mean that that's what you need to work on. It might be something uh, as simple as you're moving too fast to the target, you're not seeing it well, and this is where having a, a quality instructor working with you can help you go, yes, you shot over top, but the reason why you shot over top is you saw the target late, you were looking at the gun. Let's try to work on your vision, put your vision out there more, um, or you're moving, your, you're swinging the gun with your hands and not using your, your shoulders and your body and getting a nice push to the target. There's so much more to this, and I do recommend uh, paying somebody to help you out that knows what they're doing, who can really communicate what exactly are you doing correctly and what you're doing incorrectly to help uh, hit more targets. Somebody just to go, oh, you're over top of it, you're left of it. Yeah, but why are you over top and why are you left? And a high quality instructor can help you with that. But here's some food for thought of uh, different angles, different trajectories, how to look at maybe the target. And next time you're at the trap field, watch some targets fly from two fields over or one field over and you can kind of see when you're on the 16 yard line on, one, on, on like field two, looking at field one, and see how, how the flight path of the bird really is. And that might really help you out quite a bit um, to see where, oh wow, all these people are shooting it, it's kind of flat, it's not doing a whole lot. So take a look at the targets from different angles and spend some time just watching some fly. Uh, and that's a cheap way to practice if somebody else is shooting them and missing them. And that's the end of video three. And if you need to contact me, you can go to skeetinstructor.com and uh, click on contact and ask, ask me questions or uh, arrange a lesson. Thank you.